What's up everyone, welcome back to Black Myth Wukong, I am Obix, and today we are moving on to the second chapter. So I feel like I'm going all over the place, but I just wanted to check the cavern to see what was there before I came here. Now here's the thing, I got that area that I can go through the crack on the wall, or I got the bridge there. So I don't know which one to go to. I feel like the bridge is very missable. Because since you got this shrine here, you find the shrine, you continue exploring, you go down the cavern. I feel like the bridge is missable, so I think the bridge might be the optional area. Do you have an upper body? Like, are you buried in a, a boulder full of its skulls, or are you that boulder? What a mess. This enemy has such a strange design. Beatstone. Blazebone. Blazebone is the name of that creature, okay. There's another interesting enemy here. Interesting looking. At least I think I don't know you. I still haven't managed my timings of the immobilization spell. I really gotta time the spell well. Fright Cliff. Why is this called Fright Cliff? Why did you have to pause me? To show me the name of the place. This is even more intriguing now. Why... Why does this place have a name? I thought this was a side area. Oh, I see a shrine there, actually. What the fuck? There's a statue with fucking glowing eyes. What the hell is going on, dude? What is going on? What is this? Buddha's eyeball. Key item. What is this? Arat gold piece. I can only hold one. It's a key item. Yeah, I thought there were the tiny pieces, the small pieces, and there would be bigger pieces. Buddha's eyeball, an eyeball extracted from the chanting Buddha heads of Fright Cliff. It may be inlaid elsewhere. Oh, I can insert them somewhere. So I got these Buddha's eyeballs that I got insert somewhere. And I got Skanda of Form that was hidden inside a Buddha's head that has a secret to be revealed. Two things related with the Buddha. That's interesting. Alright, let me just unlock this shrine and then we'll travel to the other one. I did not... Ex I, I really thought this was gonna be a small area with something to find. I didn't expect more shrines and more places to explore. It would actually be funny if I thought this was a sm the main area and it, this is actually the optional area. It wouldn't be the first time to happen. It has happened to me a lot of times. Crouching Tiger Temple. Okay, so there's two separate extra locations. Am I gonna unlock a shrine here as well? I am! Okay. So none of them were optional areas, there's actually two more main areas to explore from the area where I fought the second prince. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> this... I, I got so confused. Dude. Okay, so now... I guess I'll continue on this one. Uh, let me just check the other side first. And then we'll enter the temple.
Okay, maximum stamina. Awesome. Alright, now let's see what the Tiger Temple is awaiting for us. Holy shit. I suppose these are red corpses. I feel like here I'm gonna face the tigers that overtook this town. And on the other side I might find the prince. I don't know. Maybe I won't find the prince at all. Which actually seems very possible. Jesus. I was expecting them to be eating a lot of rats, but in a civilized way. I didn't expect to be in such a gruesome way that there's corpses everywhere. They are very barbaric. Holy shit. Oh, are these bugs? They are huge, dude. Oof. Holy shit, these are a lot of corpses. Look at this building, dude. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect the tigers to look like this. Kinda reminds me of a character from Avatar The Last Airbender. I feel like these meditation spots, in a way, are a way to allow you to admire the art of the game. Which is pretty fun. Like, in some areas it was just some landscapes. But here, for example, you get to admire the temples and the statues they created. I like that. I like that they weren't just... Oh, yeah, make these statues for the game. No one will notice them anyway. No, they introduced a mechanic that actually complements the game. Allows us to take a break and... Observe it. I like to admire the work that was put into games. I love art art workbooks. Oh, boss fight. Ah, is this blood, dude? I love his design, but... But this is disgusting, dude. I tried dodging. I tried to dodge. Oh, he uses a sword! What is going on, dude? You got fangs, but you use a sword? That's, that's fun. I like that. It's kinda goofy. Oh, shit! You are fast. And he knows martial arts, dude! When he starts the chain, I cannot break it. That sucks. What an interesting boss, though. His face, his whole thing is so funny. His face is a bit goofy. The fact that he is a tiger but has a sword also feels goofy to me. I don't know why. I tried. Fuck. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, I'm not counting this one. This one was stupid. I was trying to time the immobilization spell. Ooh, fucking hell, he delayed the last one, of course. This might be the most challenging boss so far. Because I gotta time my dodges. And it, it's something that always takes a while to get the hang of. Fucking hell, dude! Why did you get hung? He became stone or something. You are tough, dude. Fucking hell, dude! Fucking hell! Gotta heal. Oh, you also do that shit that the Black Wind Bear did. This is tough, dude. Alright, people. I looked onto the sparks. Basically, I unlocked some more attack combos. Nothing uh, extravagant. No big deal. I'm still alive, dude, somehow. How am I still alive? Try to time! <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. This one is tough. This one is actually tough. What? <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. This guy's so annoying. <laughs> Fucking hell! I just used two potions, dude. I just used two fucking potions and I died immediately. What a fucking waste. Ah, oh, this guy is annoying, dude. This guy is annoying. He has too much health. I feel like I did great and I reach half his health and I die. I was looking up what was new on the store and I find a back scratcher. Which is pretty funny actually. To clarify what I just did, I went back to the monkey merchant to see if I could upgrade my gourd, but I couldn't. I could only upgrade the basic one to 5 uses and it doesn't have the buff of the first heal fill, fulling, filling up my whole bar. And then I crafted the uh, white clad noble's armor the chest part because it gives me a health regain when I have low health and it's a buff that is increased in water I believe the blood will be considered water and yeah besides that I just changed a bit my attire and nothing else really but yeah because my attire was related to the immobilization spell and this guy is pretty resistant to it and not only that, but the, buff, the buffs were also related to crashing the immobilization spell. But since this guy is resistant, I don't think I can crash it. Fucking hell, dude. Alright, I'm gonna take the clue and I'm gonna explore other areas. This guy is obviously tougher than what I can face right now. Because I feel like I'm doing a good fight and I only deal half damage, then I gotta wait for the spells to reactivate. I don't have enough mana to keep the battle going on. And I die very quickly. So I'll explore the other side. And hopefully we'll face a boss there and eventually I'll come back here. It's fine. Gotta learn how to read the situation. If it's obvious that this boss is stronger than what I can face right now, uh, this is just a lost cause. I'll just keep dying here and there's no point. Who knows the death count right now? Could I just cut it out of the video and pretend it didn't happen? Yes. But would that be honest? Not at all. You have crystals.
Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? Hmm. Rocks turning into guai as well. I've been there, my friend. I legit have been there. Oh, motherfucker. The roots poisoned me. Oh, I just realized I feel like the poison is not taking a toll on me because I have the armor that is constantly healing me. When I'm at low health, the armor heals me. So when the poison puts me at low health, the armor counteracts it. So I'm in a constant loop just waiting for the poison to end. Oh, that's great. This is actually great, I didn't even realize it. I was just wondering why the hell isn't my health going down. Now I get it. The statues in this game are awesome, dude. Oh dude, are you are you serious? I'm out of heals again. Oh, there's a shrine here? Really? I legit walked by here, went back, and there was a shrine right next to it. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. What the fuck is wrong with these fuckers? Alright, another shrine. Can I just explore a little bit in some peace and quiet? I just realized I switched the fucking gourd and I forgot to put the other one back. I was wondering why the hell the first heal was not filling up my bar. Oh, I see. So that enemy was glowing with blue fire and it became a spirit that I can take. I see. I didn't realize that it happened before. All right. Got you. I was intrigued, like, legit, the reason why I came here immediately was uh, that enemy was different, I gotta kill it. I already got, what, four eyes? I don't like how this looks. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, 
What is this? Are they gonna keep attacking me because I'm attacking this thing or... The, like the fact that it's not attacking back is making me question if I should even destroy it. But it is called Mother of Stones and I feel like this shit is what's summoning the other fuckers that keep annoying me. It has to be, right? And I suppose once I reach a certain amount of its health, it's actually gonna move, like the rest. Shall we do this properly? Finally, dude. <sighs> this fucker was tougher than so many other bosses. And ironically, 
it's the most quiet boss possible. It's the quietest, the most still, and yet it's such an annoying fight. I'm glad it's over. I feel like I could actually end the episode here. It is a boss that I just faced. Not the type of boss that I was expecting, but a boss nonetheless, so... Oh. Another statue. I hear something behind me. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> Oh, I got all of them. Yeah, I was thinking of ending the episode now. And now I'm questioning things. I'm very curious about this uh, sandfall. Oh! What the fuck? No! Why? Just why? Oh, it's glowing blue. Okay, that one is gonna give me a spirit as well. One more to the collection. I'm gonna go under. Oh, that's cool. I'll be able to go under this sandfall, but I can't right now. There's a barrier. Do I have to stop the sandfall? So that I can go under? What is stopping me? Alright, we'll explore a little more. So, there's this big gate. That's a boss area, for sure. But let me see what's here. Another boss. Please don't tell me this is the boss. What are you? A boar? Oh, dude. Warned me before. What is this? I don't like this dude. Oh. I can't go through. Pity. I guess the boar is gonna open it. I was just thinking. He said he needed something to get him sober. I suppose it's the poison resistance potion. Oh, I got this key item. Stone Essence. Consolidated cluster of azure gravel obtained from the shattered remains of Mother of Stones. One of nine. Do I have to fight that fucker An another eight times? Holy shit. Oh, I got the entry with the image for the Yaogwai tiger. For the tiger that I was facing. I only got the full entry once I defeated. That's cool. So yeah, I don't know what to do about this NPC. I guess I'll just go for the boss fight. Why not? Let's just see. Oh boy. Is it the third prince? No. What is this? Oh, there's floating rocks. Oh, what the fuck? Stone Vanguard. Interesting. How do I hurt something made out of stone? I feel like the fire... If I use the fire transformation, it's not gonna do anything.
I won't be able to burn it, but at least I'll deal some damage in this form. This form does attack quick, so... Can't believe I had to turn to the side while fighting a boss. Oh! Are you serious? I'm really wondering if I should face this fucker or not. It's not that hard. The problem is the minions. I already faced a boss with minions today and... It sucked. I hate that type of bosses. It's the most annoying one. Because the minions are always annoying. There's too many. They're attacking all at once. I'll try again. Oh, I see. They are actually immediately dying. They don't stay for the fight. They just crash themselves and they die. Okay. So it's not actually a fight against minions, as I was expecting.
Stimmt's. Good thing that this armor heals me. Oh, that's so good. I just realized I was lower than half of my health. And I got back to half of my health because of the armor. Because I have no heals. That's really good. This was a bit risky. <laughs> it was a bit risky. I thought I was not gonna be able to pull the move before he hit me. Sternness of stone. Oh, that's one of the things I need for the statue. Okay. All right. I'm glad we got to finish the episode. Finishing a boss. I thought this area was gonna be a lot to explore before I got to a boss, but no, it was actually pretty chill. We found the boss. We defeated it in not that many attempts. Didn't go as smoothly as I expected, but that's part of the process, my dude. Part of the process. And I'm acting all happy and fun in games and all that, but Jesus was this annoying. <laughs> the mother of stones was getting on my nerves. Upon perfect dodges, grants considerable additional focus. Perfect dodges see slightly reduce cooldown for all spells. Ooh. All right, so we got a new armor set that is related with perfect dodges, not with the immobilization spell. I think this is actually going to be helpful because it gives me focus and reduces the cooldown of spells. Against the tiger and against main bosses, the immobilization spell doesn't work for that long. So it's actually good if I work on my perfect dodges. I mean, I want to work on both. Perfect dodges and perfect immobilizations. This one has a unique effect. Performing three consecutive perfect dodges within a brief moment recovers a moderate amount of mana. Hmm. I really like the thing of the armor healing me. Is the thing. I really like this set. It looks really good. Oh, and I'm at, at already at level 31. Holy shit. I feel like the the ideal set combination for me right now would be to keep the white clad armor, this one, because it recovers my health. And then for the mask, keeping this one. And then for the rest of the buffs, yeah, the, the perfect dodge thing. It's a pity that this game doesn't have that mechanic that you can change the appearance of the items. Meaning I could equip this item but have it look like this one. Some games have that and I really like it. Sternness of stone might be used to unlock a certain mechanism. Now I'm intrigued. The fact that I found Skanda of Form on the first chapter and I didn't use it. Now I'm intrigued if this is related with the secret on that chapter that I didn't find. Because I just found this uh, mask that is obviously for that statue that I found before. I found the, the item and the place to put the item in the same chapter. So is it the same for every item? Because I would imagine inserting the Buddha's eyeballs somewhere here as well. I think I gotta go back to the previous chapter. Maybe when I finish this one, I'll backtrack a bit. Alright everyone, with this, we are done for today's episode. And it has been a crazy one. I did not expect to face so many bosses and so many annoying enemies. This area is a bit tougher. The tiger boss is definitely a headache. But there's a lot of enemies here that are also a pain in the ass. We got one of the pieces for the stone and I'm really... For the mask. For the statue. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm glad that I got to do so much today. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.